Hello, this is Steve Powers. The other day I came across a um, free uh, online gamut mask tool uh, from livepaintinglessons.com. It was created by Richard Robinson. And uh, I was inspired to create a manual um, gamut mask tool since uh, quite often um, I find myself offline uh, when I'm painting. And if you find um, yourself in the same situation, I'm going to uh, add a link to this so you can download this uh, tool to use it at your leisure. Now all I did here was uh, create a uh, color wheel on a white background and um, then I created a bunch of uh, pre uh, predefined shapes. Uh, I, I kept them uh, simple at first. Uh, you can see here I created this uh, one, uh, it's a very, it's a long oval. Well, the way I did that is, all I did is I took a uh, black mask, I uh, keep that down there um, and to do just this. I duplicate it and I will make a custom uh, mask 3 and it is blacked out and I'll use a selection tool in this case um, I have the uh, oval shapes where I can move it anywhere I want uh, I think the best bet is to actually create it um, in the center and then you can just use a uh, transform tools what have you to um, uh, manipulate it and once I do that, I uh, want the shape I uh, or get the shape that I like. I hit um, Control X, and that will um, you know cut out that section. Now, uh, what I was doing to get rid of um, my uh, lines here is I hit the Control uh, semicolon, and that will uh, toggle them on and off. So once I do have my shape uh, defined here, the way I go to use this, I go over to the uh, color wheel, and I hit the uh, Transform tool. I hit Control T. Um, it'll allow me to um, spin it. Um, I can I can warp it or just move it around a little bit, what have you. Um, preferably, all I do is I, I um, just uh, spin it around and move it around. This way, I'm actually moving the color wheel and not the mask. Uh, hitting uh, uh, Escape will allow me to um, get out of that. But to uh, save it, I'll, I'll pick another one. I hit, hit enter. And it'll uh, do it. Control Shift S. And then I save it out as a PNG. Uh, name it custom, what have you. Doesn't really matter. Um, and then I will take that PNG file uh, and import it back into Photoshop and actually create the, uh, uh, my, um, not my, uh, my color palette from the uh, gamut mask. And the reason I use a PNG file is even though it might be larger than JPEG, it will uh, have a better consistency to the colors. Uh, there's actually more information in PNG than a JPEG. Uh, it's also for transparencies as well. Um, now, you, you can go and uh, make any shape that you want. You want to um, uh, make a combination of uh, shapes. Um, you can do that as well. Oops, hold on a second. See this? I didn't change it back. There we go. Hit enter. Now another reason to keep a, a separate one of these uh, online uh, on uh, on hand is uh, in case you uh, <laughs> delete it or screw something up and you want to go back to the original state. Now here we'll go to uh, custom four, and uh, this will allow me now to say. I want to make um, a uh, circle up here. Oh, hold on. Make a circle. I'm holding down the shift key. Then holding the alt key, I can make a um, a moon. I will cut right into it. Um, control T. Allow me to. Oops. Control Z. Excuse me. Escape. Uh, this will allow me to reposition it. And Control X will cut it out. Um, Let's bring that down just a little bit. Control X. Um, then go back in and say I want a highlight color down here around the uh, I think it's around the purples. No, your violets, I should say. Control X and cut out another one. So you can use this and you have that. I, I'm not sure why you'd want to, but you could. Uh, it's not something I would go for. But the fact is, is using the selection tools or your pen tool and uh, creating a selection using your pen tool, um, you can create custom shapes and basically custom gamut masks. And then um, it's basically all 
it is is to help you uh, define a refined um, color palette uh, for a um, any given project, uh, whether it's a single painting or multiple paintings. Maybe you're working with other artists, what have you. So as long as you're using the same uh, color palette, um, it's uh, will allow you uh, to come up with consistent paintings in the in a, uh, a theme or uh, for print purposes. Now, um, like I said, I'm going to uh, put a link to this PSD file under the video, so uh, feel free to uh, use it um, at your leisure. Have a good day. Thanks.